Hello everyone, welcome to Distilling Inside YouTube channel. Today we will be talking about the reverse of what we've discussed in the previous time, but you need to listen keenly because this is going to be a magical way for you to remove a particular password from an Excel file. Please note, the essence of this class is because we are humans and there is a tendency to forget and for the password i might have said to slip off us because there are numerous platforms we use password for hence you realize that the last time in the last class if you've not watched the last class please go ahead and view the last class we were taught on how to protect the worksheets how to protect the worksheet so we're going to quickly run through it again here so we're protecting this worksheet here we can not make changes to this worksheet you can see it's showing on protect worksheet because it has been protected so we can't make changes to this worksheet until we impute the password so let me quickly do this and impute the password in order for me to be able to make change to this worksheet now that's that's it so we've gotten that right okay so now for me to now teach you in case you forget the password or by reason of importance there is a need to access a particular worksheet that is already passworded this is the way to go about it and the reason i'm actually bringing this on board is because of this caution at the point of setting this password for the worksheet or the workbook there is always a caution that is written by microsoft that if you lose or forget the password it cannot be recovered it is advisable to keep a list of passwords and their corresponding workbook and worksheet names in a safe place remember that password are case sensitive so now in the case whereby we are having an a reason to forget this password and this is what i'm saying despite the fact that microsoft said it is on recovery you can't recover it i'm saying you can still access the file and please go walk through with me now to go about that the first thing for you to do is to go to the excel sheet itself now we know let's assume we don't we don't have access we already have, have access this okay but it's protected and we need to work on it so the first thing for you to do is to come to the excel sheet you can see this excel sheet is called protection class i would advise you copy and paste just to have a copy of what you are actually trying to access just to have a copy of it with you now once you've done that the next thing for you to do is to look for a way to uh, to give extension to this excel sheet so by coming to view when you get to view after clicking on the excel sheet you see file extension file name extensions so when you click on file name extensions you will see that it has uh, given the extension of the xl x and with that you are already a step ahead to where we are going now once you've done that you need to come to this place and rename the excel sheet when you rename the excel sheet you zip it up once you click on zip is that you click on enter or you click on the on the mouse in order for it to bring the prompt that you want to change the file then yes so we've zipped this file with this we've done the zipping of the file then you open the file once you open the file you access the excel folder after accessing the excel folder you see the worksheet folder now this is the worksheet that you want to access which is the sheet one xml note if this sheet the number of sheets in that workbook is more than one you're going to have a list of those worksheets here but I want you to take note of the fact that this was the only worksheet on the excel workbook and this was the only protected worksheet so as a result let's the next thing for you to do is to copy this excel worksheet you can either carry it this way lift and you paste or you can also decide to do ctrl c and ctrl v so after that then you can click on this excel work sheets which is in xml file 
you open with notepad when you open with a notepad this gives you a download of everything then you can come to view you can zoom out because in order for you to be able to see it more clearly now at this point since you are dealing with the worksheet then you can click on ctrl f to find when you do ctrl f you can find the keyword sheet protection now when you find sheet protection like you can see that it's not bringing up the sheet protection there because it is showing up that's why it's not bringing up sheet protection so you click on down you are searching down from up down now when you search through the old document you can see sheet protection while it was taking it down so then this less than sign bracket which is the open bracket for the program from the beginning of the sheet protection it's your responsibility to copy that so what you do is that from this point where the cursor is just the way we have it now from this point you have the sheet protection algorithm you're going to copy the whole thing so you get to the second bracket that close the command so which is at this point so now that you've seen it the the second bracket that close the command you delete it once you delete the next thing is to save you save the document after saving the document then you close so please just to quickly show us the difference here that if you remember the previous document was protected so now this is the one we work on which is on the desktop then by the time you paste it here and you click copy and replace it has replaced the previous ones that was locked then at this point we can go back to the workbook now can also go back to rename this document when you rename the document xlsx and you click out it also changed back to microsoft excel right so now look at the excel sheet now that we're having the excel sheet you see that it's no longer protected it's no longer protected it's no longer protected so that's just how to remove the protection from a particular worksheet and let's assume this workbook is now the structure is also being protected so just for us to quickly do something around that and you forget the password so what you're just going to do is this so this is the password for the workbook then we are retyping the workbook password now the workbook is protected meaning we can't make any changes to this workbook then we cancel it we are saving all the changes there so you can see the excel that we did previously is back and active so we are just going to go through the same thing just for you to see the way it's done so we can as well delete this off because we've used it already so now we want to work with the workbook now so to do the workbook all you just need to do is just to go through it all over again the way i've said it before now you rename this so i'll be faster now so you rename this you make it you zip the file so once you zip the document now you click out and it gives you the change so once it changes this then it's now opened now that is opened we're having the excel document on the excel documents this is for worksheet but this is the workbook so what you are actually lifting here now is the workbook because that's what we want to unprotect so for the workbook we're going to put it here now we are opening the workbook with notepad so now that we are opening the workbook with notepad we are going to be looking out for the workbook protection Okay. the actual thing that happened here is that unlike the previous one we look for the sheet protection however here we're looking for the workbook protection so the same thing still holds by coming here to copy 
the workbook protection till we get to the closing of the command then we delete once we delete that then we save once this has been saved so we can now put it back in here and we'll copy and replace so by the time we copy and replace and we move back to our workbook we can now change the file extension once we change the file extension and click out of this so with this it has changed automatically to the microsoft excel and when you click on review you realize that the workbook protection has been eliminated so if you enjoy this video i will want you to please click the thumbs up button share with someone that may need it and have given up on their microsoft excel document that was passworded so if you lost your password no worries just follow through the guideline and you'll be fine from the stealing insight we look out for more of your engagement drop in the comment section if there is anything you want us to also teach in the nearest future bye bye